some people are rude though some women like they think they're complimenting me but they message and they're like oh louisa i love that you don't care what you look like it's so liberating and i'm like um what makes you think i don't care bitch like i clearly <laughs> i clearly care hey everyone welcome to girl on girl girl on girl being girl girls <laughs> the show in my bedroom with two girls one topic where we try and talk about the things that really matter to us that we may not get the chance to talk about or we really want to talk about but we don't know how today we're going to be talking about thigh gaps and all other body image conundrums and i have with me the leading expert in this country on thigh gaps yes. louisa omalan Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. I like that. I'm the leading expert yeah. on the thigh gap. I feel like we could say that. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's right. Like, I've got, like, you know, trophies at home. It's for anyone who doesn't know what a thigh gap are. It's the idea of when you're standing with your feet together, your thighs don't touch. I find it so distressing and upsetting that it's become even an issue for women. Do you know who I think doesn't care? Guys. Mm. I swear down, I do not think somebody that finds you sexually attractive wants to sleep with you they've not got a measuring tape i do not <laughs> think right that if you're snogging and you're kissing you're getting in you're about to take your trousers down i do not think for once that person would go oh you better thighs touch oh and i've lost my boner i don't think that's <laughs> ever happened so who are we doing it for you're a comedian and a lot of people know you for talking about the thigh gap and yeah. other like body stuff yeah it, i didn't set out to be like make a political statement yeah. or any nonsense like that i just thought um it, it's really fun when i put my trousers down on stage yeah, and everybody laughs i did a i did a set in australia i was playing in australia last year with festivals comedy festivals and i got a tv spot and you have to do three minutes and it's like what's your best joke you can do in three minutes and i was like well What's the most universal language of comedy? Hello, let's pull our trousers down. Don't give me issues I don't need. Like now my issues are my thighs. Oh my God, my thighs are touching each other. Oh my God, everybody can see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my God, oh my God. My thighs are touching each other. Oh my God, that's so humiliating. I watched the video of you pulling your pants down mm -hmm. on YouTube. YouTube yeah. And I saw that the comments were disabled. Yeah. You get so much trolling and so many problems and so many people calling you names and calling you fat and calling you disgusting. And you go, that's fine. Like, it's cool. I get it. I'm a comedian. You put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. But when you get girls going on that page to see um, that joke, and especially a joke about something as important as body image where people, people like, lose lives over their mm. uh, insecurities about body image. And when you get comments from men, it's always from men, that are really derogatory against women, that are really nasty, vicious, malicious comments. I don't want my audience having access to seeing that. Ah. And so I disabled it because I was like, not on my page, mate. So thigh gaps is just one thing. One of many. One of many. And we've got a few others. Oh, good. Okay, so the first thing is high heels. Ah, oh, I yeah. love high heels. Do you wear them? Um, when I get, I've got arthritis on my knees now because uh, <laughs> when I was younger I used to wear lots of high heels. I used to work in the bar, we used to dance on the bar. And used to get like, used to be, it used to be like a budget coyote ugly where you'd get like apple sours instead of whiskey because obviously yeah. apple sours. You'd just spray it across the bar and then you'd just fly forward and slide across the bar. It was amazing. Oh my god. So I fun. feel like there will be some feminist police here but I'm totally fine with that so I'm not going to feminist well, police you for that. how is there going to be feminist police? It's a girl having a really good time and enjoying herself. Yeah, so, exactly. I have no what, problems with that. What are you going to say about that? I think my legs look so hot in heels. Yes, babe. Because I'm quite short and then I put heels on and it's like, hello. Hello. <laughs> She's a little less shorter. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, mate. Of the course. bikini waxing or Brazilians or whatever. The whole thing. Off. Really? Do you do the whole thing? Yes, <gasps> get it off. I once had a Brazilian when I. Which one's the Brazilian? Where it's all off or there's a strip? Strip. Or... Right. Hollywood is all off. Right. I like Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Check do you not feel like a baby? Why would I feel. Why would babies looking have at my no pubes. Why would looking at my <laughs> adult sized vagina <laughs> remind me of a small child? Because it's got no hair on it. No, I think that's the biggest load of. BS that I have heard. Really? This notion that a woman um, somehow, actually, let's just use this, shall we? <laughs> it is, bring, it, bring is, it out! This bring is it out! What I really annoyed. This notion that what a woman does with her uh, pubic hair is somehow um, anti feminist or not being a woman or it's encouraging paedophilia because a guy will look at it and then be like, oh, my pansy children. 
Mate, <laughs> if your guy is that easily susceptible, like he's already a paedophile, you shouldn't be dating him. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, yay. He's a little baby. He's a baby. Yeah, that's what I look like after lunch. Same. <laughs> Losing that pregnancy weight. Oh, again, I think it's really sad. I think it's really sad that... Is it not that there is always a constant stream of pressure for women to lose weight? And so any uh, situation where you put on a lot of weight, it's that same pressure. Obviously, when you're pregnant, you put on weight. So yeah. it's just, it just accentuates the problem that's always been there. It feels like the only acceptable time for a woman to put on weight is if she is yeah. carrying a child. That's very, that's a lovely point actually, that is the only, yeah. Yeah, that is like, oh it's cool, but then you hear of women that are dieting when they're pregnant and you... Really? Yeah, oh my gosh, all the time. Botox. Um, I would do it, it's cool if you want to do it. They basically inject something or other into you which paralyzes the muscles um, and so stops wrinkles from happening but then also like anti-sweat stuff and one of my friends actually has that yeah, yeah. into your armpits yeah my friend stops had that. and she likes it she swears by yeah. it yeah yeah she likes it because it freezes your muscles and i just be like guys i'm really sad like, <laughs> yeah but why do you feel like it's bad for women to age because i feel like everyone always says like men look so good when they get older like men age so well and it's like we won't allow women to do yeah, like the most natural it, thing, which is age. Yeah, wrinkles are cool. My mum's 65 and she's got like, the most beautiful face. In. My granny, I remember when I was younger, I used to love my granny's wrinkles. Mm. They were the most beautiful thing and you learn that they're not and it's, yeah, it needs to go. Breast implants. Woohoo! I've always thought about this because I thought maybe we'd be cool if I had bigger boobs. Because yeah, I've got small boobs. Mm. But I've got great nipples. Oh, so what would happen? Would, well, just in I case something really like, went wrong, like if it didn't look wrong, or if it went weird, oh. I'd be like, oh, so I had small boobs, but at least I had great boob shape and great nipples. And I'd worry that this might mess it Mad up. Might mess it up. I used to be one of those girls who hated breast implants and thought that any woman who got them was disgusting. Really? Yeah. Did you really judge women that got them? Mm-hmm. Like, lots of women have had breast implants because they had a mastectomy or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Or they're transgender. They, or they're transgender. Yeah. And it's weird that you go, oh, if you had a mastectomy or transgender, then you go, oh, that's cool, that's good that she has that. Yeah. But then if it's a girl that just wants bigger boobs, it's like, oh, well, it's it's such a double standard from the titty police. <laughs> <laughs> double the standard, double the fun. Drinking alcohol. Drinking alcohol, double standards. If a man drinks lots of alcohol, he's like a player. Yes, bro, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. The gen took out smash Tony God. Tony got off his face, smash face. <laughs> Tony got a nine, like he had to get his stomach pumped. What a what? legend. <laughs> yeah. Whereas if a girl gets that annihilated, it's like, well, obviously her parents didn't love her enough and she needs to go into care. And it's pretty tragic. Receiving a compliment. Mm. Okay, so I definitely feel like if you compliment a guy, I don't think I've ever noticed anything. But women always feel the need to like put themselves down. Yeah. They're like, oh, I really like your top. And they'll just be like, oh no, I don't really like it on me. It's for. Or do you know what I love is when you go when a girl goes, oh my god, you're beautiful, and you go, thank you, and they look at you like you better fucking I know. compliment me back. Otherwise, <laughs> for example, I saw a friend the other day. I said, babe, you look great. That's a nice dress. Do you know what her response was to that's a nice dress? Do you know what she went? She went, oh this, um, oh yeah, I got it in the sale like three years ago. I mean, it was really cheap when I bought it, and um, yeah, it doesn't really suit me anymore because when I bought it, I was really skinny and I put loads of weight to the and I didn't think that I'd see anybody. And now I've left the house, I see you, and oh my god, this is so humiliating. You see me in this dress? I hate myself. I hate. I hate myself, I hate myself. Double the standards, double the fun. Why do we feel that women struggle so much with body image? Like, why is it such a big deal? Um, I do think for something to be that extreme and for to be such an in part of our yeah. conscious, as it's just in every bus stop sign, it's on every mm-hmm. underground sign, every train station sign, there's something about body image. Yeah. You go, for it to be so much part of our psyche, somebody is making a lot of money yes. from women feeling shit about themselves. And like, if we personify this thing, it's say it's like a corporation or whatever. Yeah. So it's the same corporation that is feeding young women messages, being mm-hmm. like, this is what beauty is, this is what perfect is, this is it. And so it's feeding all these messages to women, making them hate themselves. And so then they have a group of women who hate themselves, and then they go, but look at all these products that we offer yeah. to help you yeah. fix it and make you feel but better about yourself. At the same yourself. time, 
we're not stupid. We are smart individuals. And yeah. You have to take some responsibility of your own thoughts and your own mind. Yeah. The messages. I have read. so many like internal conflicts sometimes when I'm going to get like a bikini wax, where I'm like, am I doing this for myself or am I doing this because I'm going on a date in a couple of days and it's I might so get lucky? Yeah. But then I'm like, hey, but even if that makes me feel sexy. Exactly. And that's going to make me feel confident, then what's exactly. the problem? Like, if I'm going on a date, I will do that. But it won't be because he'll see it. It's because I want to feel yeah. sexier with me. Body image, eh? Yeah. Let us know what you think about body image and all these conundrums in the comments. Have we missed anything? Um, you can also follow us on Tiny Letter, tinyletter.com forward slash girl on girl to find out more about the show and find out more about Louisa. Yeah, we can um, see my thigh gap clip on there. I'll absolutely. More Share more positive messages about body image, I think. That's what we need yeah, women to do. Definitely. Thanks so much for being on. Thanks for having yeah. me, guys. Um, we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.